Tēnā koutou whānau. This video is recorded on the 2nd of June 2022. Here we see a photograph of Lance Corporal Ramaka Topaki of the Māori Pioneer Battalion in the First World War. Ramaka Topaki was brother to Te Ara Topaki who was the mother of our Koro Miki. So he was our Koro's uncle. He also went by the names John and also Mick. And I can only assume that our Koro's name and his nickname were all derived from his uncle. We see here the military service record of Lance Corporal Topaki. Ramaka Topaki was originally a member of the 3rd Māori Contingent. This was a reinforcement unit that was sent overseas to replace the casualties that were endured by the Pioneer Battalion. There were many of these contingents. We can see here his rank is listed as Lance Corporal and also we see his name Ramaka Topaki. You can also see his military service number 16 stroke 954. We can see that his occupation is listed as a labourer and his religion is recorded as C of E which stands for Church of England. In other words he was an Anglican. It would appear that he was baptised in Awaiti which is a small area not far from Pairoa and Tiruhia and the date 17th of September 1890 appears to be, as far as I can tell, the day that he was baptised. His last New Zealand address was Pairoa. We can see that he listed as his next of kin his mother. Mrs. Raiha Te Irikofai. But then there is a further amendment in different handwriting. His wife, G. Topaki. Mrs. Topaki's name, maiden name was Gwyneth Kenny, and they were married at the registrar's office in Auckland. And we can see here that her address is Grey Street in Waihi. We can also see that his service consisted of time in New Zealand, presumably training, from the 30th of June 1915 until the 4th of February 1916. And then he was on foreign service from 4 February 1916. We can see a notation here that his medals were awarded on the 1st of October 1923. And here we have further reference to his name and at death, at the time of his death, his rank was Lance Corporal. His next of kin was his mother and he also nominated 
his wife. And we can see here that he was killed in action and there was no evidence of a will. You can see here also under next of kin a reference to unfavourable police reports. I don't know what this refers to but it appears to be related to his wife. We can see information here which indicates that in 1916 he was part of the Egyptian Expeditionary Force so I can only assume that he landed in Egypt before going on to the Western Front. And this further information is illegible. We can see that he was awarded the British War Medal and the Victory Medal for his service. I have been told that these medals were awarded to his mother Raihatiri Kofai, and that they were buried with her at the Urupa in Tiru here. And here we have the notation killed in action. And I'm not sure what this information is, but it's dated 1918. And we can see here killed in action in the field in Belgium on the 31st of December 1917. And again we have a reference to his medals being awarded to his mother in Tiru here on the 18th of the 10th 1921. Here we see Ramaka's death certificate. Again, it lists him as a labourer from Pairoa, aged 27. Married and a private when he was married in the Māori contingent. We see here he died on the 31st of December 1917 in France. This is misleading, however, as most ca Allied casualties in the First World War on the Western Front were simply listed as dying in France, regardless of where their death actually occurred. We can see the notation killed in action, and this was certified by the acting chief clerk at the base records office. And we can see that it was signed off. Lance Corporal Topaki is buried at Rampart Cemetery in the town of Ypres in Belgium. The Battle of Ypres actually consisted of five separate battles, one of which was the Battle of Passchendaele. It is estimated that there was something in the region of one million Allied casualties during this campaign. And here we see Lance Corporal Topaki's headstone in Rampart Cemetery and the designation New Zealand Māori Battalion. Thank you for watching this video Fano. If you have any more information or any questions, please feel free to comment and I'll do my best to answer your questions. They shall grow not old as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them 
nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun and in the morning, we will remember them. Aroha nui a hauki a koutou, ka kite anō.